Hello my dear viewers, listeners and students. I hope each and everybody out there doing great. And this video is about a very important chapter of chemistry, especially SSC chemistry and O-level chemistry. Those are students of English version uh, and even Carrot College, you know that in your book there is a chapter of SSC chemistry chapter 3 which is about structure of matter and also those are students of English a version uh, and all level especially those are following this book you know that in your unit 5 there is a chapter is called elements and mixture so in unit 5 actually uh, elements compounds and mixture there will be a touch of this topic and also especially uh, those are students of English version you know that in your chemistry book this chapter deals with a very important topic and these are the list of topics only eight topics I wrote here but uh, honestly speaking each and every single point is uh, much more elaborative and uh, from my best level side I shall explain every single topic in different different videos in this video I shall only explain about the naming of the elements as of course you know this is the periodic table and in this periodic table there will be like 118 elements but when we will study about it we need to understand uh, what are the name of the elements and showing the symbol uh, and we need to understand first what are the name and symbol of the elements because at first when we see this periodic table that we must have something in our mind that what are these and why each and every single element belongs to in this place so this periodic table is a history long history how it comes from and especially you know the name of Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev in 1869 but before there are a number of scientists who did this for arranging these elements into a series so especially for those who are studying this chapter I always say that chemistry is a lovely subject but this chapter is the basement because I say here the name of the title is structure of matter and you see the topic is name and symbol of the elements this class is only about it and, and then second class would be the particles identity and you know that uh, atom and inside the atom will have electron proton and neutrons and of course there are some other particles like mason positron graviton neutrino and antineutrino so these are the particles inside atom in this particular video i shall explain about these and then we need to understand a very basic of uh, chemistry like a relative atomic mass because when uh, the concept of a relative mass comes from some scales like hydrogen scale, oxygen scale and carbon scale. According to carbon scale we need to uh, consider the relative atomic mass of elements. Radioactive isotopes, based on that we need to understand what is isotopes, isotones and isobars. So I say always that this is the very basic of chemistry and you should not miss any of these like Rutherford model and Bohr's model. These two are very important and you know that it always comes to your questions. What about the Rutherford model? Both models have some uh, limitations and from that perspective we will have the concept of energy levels of electrons. These are like shells and orbits and orbital and then after most importantly we need to understand the electron configurations, how electrons organize into the shells in the atoms. So, at first, we see that these are the least are here, and we of course, we of course, we need to understand what are the name of these elements and how it comes from. You must know the English and Latin name of these. So, so focusing on the part of name of symbols. At first, we need to learn what is symbol. So, symbols of elements are the smallest expressions of their names. So, we can say that the smallest, smallest expression, expression of, of their names. So, in short, in short, 
what are the names like we can have the English names we can have the Latin names even we can have uh, the Arabic names so the naming of the elements how it comes from like when when we see we just follow that when we see a does it express anything when we write a so when we see to the periodic table if we say a it doesn't have any sense but if we say that a c we will have actinium if if we say that there is l then we can say that this is aluminium and in case of a r we can say this is argon but when we see that a g we can say this is silver because it comes from the latin name this is important this is important these are the english name like actinium aluminium argon and this is silver comes from argentum this is a latin name when i say this is au we can say this is gold because it comes from the latin name aurum aurum so you see this is actinium this is aluminium argon silver aurum even you can say this is as stands for arsenic and and uh, for including bromine and astatine we can say that from at is it astatine so when we see something from from our chemistry knowledge we need to understand what are the name of that elements this is very very important so i say always that before deep digging to the chemistry we need to we need to understand what are the elements name and how it expresses so ac for actinium al for aluminium ar for argon ag for silver as because the name comes from the latin is argentum au for aurum as for arsenic and AT for astatine as you know that in the periodic table there is a group number 17 which are all halogens and these groups like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and then we'll have this one astatine. So how we will express this? Like if we say this is B then we must know this single expression in capital letter of B expresses the name is boron. The name is boron. So, whenever we say this is B for boron, and then whatever B A stands for <clears throat> barium, stands for barium, and even if we say this is B E, we can say this is beryllium. Beryllium. If I say that B I, that stands for bismuth, stands for bismuth. And if we say this is BK, then we can say this is bacalium. Bacalium. And even if there is B and R, then this is called bromine. Bromine. So when we will go through this these elements, we we need to know what are the characteristics and properties of these elements. And then we can understand that what type of reactions what type of characteristics it will show to others and then we understand the real essence of chemistry and because when we see the periodic table we need to know that which name of the different different elements so the corresponding elements and the name this is fixed and each and every single elements belongs to a single and definite position of periodic table as we will be studying the structure of matter and we will go through these classes accordingly we need to learn first what are the names and symbols of these elements so these are the boron barium beryllium bismuth bacalium and bromine and bromine so we can have these things again if we see that if we see for only C then we know this is carbon very well known renowned and very uh, well known actually uh, elements carbon so C stands for carbon and we say CA stands for 
calcium Ca for calcium if we see that Ce then we can say this is for cesium carbon calcium cesium sorry cerium cerium actually sorry this is cerium and then cesium is actually Cs sorry my mistake so Ce for cesium and Cs for cesium if we go for Cu this is copper if we say this is Cr this is chromium if you go for CO this is cobalt cobalt if you go for CL this is chlorine this is chlorine so see the name so if we say that the carbon calcium cerium cesium copper chromium cobalt chlorine and even even we can have like cadmium we can have Californium, Californium. So these are the names. So I hope that when you see this elements name and symbol, you identify the name of the elements. Like if I say that this is F for fluorine, and then what will be the F E for ferrum? This is iron. And again, what about the S? If you go for the S, then you can say this is sulfur. So if we go for SB, this is antimony. If we go for SI, this is silicon, antimony, silicon, sulfur, and even even SE, this is selenium. So we can say that that these are the name of the elements. But most importantly, what do we need to know that there are some mixture of English and Latin name so where their names is divided into several groups even it can be like Arabic like boron and zirconium but mainly we could have English and Latin so the Latin name what are those Latin names if I erase some sort of these like so in the Latin names what are those Latin names at first, at first, I need to give you some example, like like this is what is this? We we must know that this is actually sodium, but why it's Na? It could be SO, but no, sodium is not that. It's Na because stands for natrium, natrium. Even you see that K. We must say this is potassium potassium but it's not P because P expresses as phosphorus but K stands for potassium as because the Latin name of potassium is callium callium so if we see that Cu this stands for copper because the Latin name of copper is caprum caprum Fe is the name of iron because the Latin name of iron is ferrum this is silver so it's not expressed through the SI it expresses through AG because the Latin name of silver is argentum argentum you can say that PB it's the Latin name of lead because the Latin name of lead is plumbum that is why it comes from PB which is the expression of plumbum or lead if you say that HG that is the expression of mercury because uh, the Latin name of mercury is hydrargyrum so these are the series of names again there will be like you know SB that is for antimony antimony that is stebum so there are series of I just I cannot remember more of those these but I, I know that you know better than me also so these are I was also showing that there are some names also collected from the Latin words so we must know what are the names of the elements this is for sodium for callium copper ferrum argentum lead hydrargyrum or mercury and this is antimony so when 
I hope you see this element's name and symbol. You must know what are the names. So for your understanding that actinium, aluminium, argon, argentum, boron, arsenic, astatium, barium, boron, barium, beryllium, bismuth, the words that I used, and you know already that I told it. And this one, the Latin name. So this is the very first lecture of this series of lecture which is structure of matter. I only explained and only talk about like the name and symbols of elements in the next class. Serially, I shall be uploading these lectures because it requires lots of time from my side to explain things completely because you see the particles identity there are a lot of things like electrons, protons, neutrons, their relative mass, their charges, their weight, their mass and how they move around into their energy shells of atoms and then relative atomic mass we need to explain what is actually the carbon scale and what is AMU which is atomic mass unit and I always say to you that please this is the basic of chemistry please do concentrate on this chapter and try to understand all lines what is written on your book both students those are students of English versions and O levels please concentrate on this chapter and I'm trying a level best and do let me know what is your requirements so see you on next class on the particles identity and then the similar links comes on so see you take care stay well stay blessed bye